Hi, I'm Madison. And I'm Ashley. And today we are showing you our website, monstertraps.wibbly.com. So on this website, we have a few designs, and this is just our homepage, which just has a little black post saying what we were doing. And it just says, welcome. So it says, welcome to our website. Hi, and welcome to our monster traps at Wibbly.com. And to create this website are Madison and Ashley. We are decided to teach you guys how to make monster traps and teach you our designs. Thanks for checking out our website, and we hope that you enjoy it. And then that just basically says the same thing there. We actually created four different... Four? Four monster traps, and they each had a like a different like idea. And this is just our about us. You can learn a little bit more about us. Okay, so you want yours? Sure. Hi, I'm Ashley, and I'm one of the creators of this website. I'm so happy to be working with Madison to create monster traps. I love creating things that kind of have no purpose but are very cool. I love to design and create things. I love to play basketball with my friends like Maddie and my other friends. I also play softball and do swimming in the summer and I can't wait to create and teach others how to create these cool monster traps. Okay, so this is about me. Hi, I'm Madison. I am one of the creators of this website. I love building and designing things and just being creative. I'm really looking forward to building our designs and testing them. Something about me is I love to play basketball and hang out with my teammates and friends. I also play soccer and I am on a swim team in the summer. Ashley is on my swim team too. Yeah. So that's a little bit about me and I hope that you enjoy our website. So, so designs. This here is the cool part. Are four designs. Two of them were more squishing traps. This one, this rapid fire one, it was, it was incredible. Crazy. We had to send down tons of marbles, and people were like, "What are you doing?" Because it was super loud. And yeah, and we had it. visitors that day, so that was kind of crazy. So let's look at the first trap we built, which was the marble track trap. We wanted to use the marble track in some of our other ones, but then we decided not yeah. to. Well, we couldn't. Yeah. We okay, so do you want to read what it is? This trap is simple, but very, but kind of hard to execute, execute correctly. You just basically build whatever type of marble track you want, and then attach a bucket or tra trapping device underneath the end of the track. Then you want the trapping device to land upside down on top of the, what you're trapping. So, trapping what, it. what to do? Build your marble track, test out your track, attach your phone to the bottom of your track, attach your trapping device to the chairs, attach string to a chair, keep trying, failing, and making changes. We had to make tons of changes to this one, but it was yeah, really like, fun. Like, we first started off with, like, this marble track, and then we had, like, this little leprechaun bin under it. And, like, we would send a marble down, and either the marble would get stuck, or it wouldn't hit the thing. And it wouldn't fall. Yeah. Or and it then, would just, like, slide off. And then we did it with a box, and that wouldn't work either. And then, so then we, we tried finally did it with like, a bag. And that and didn't work. Tons of them, we just, and, like, we tried it with, like, different wood pieces, and we just tried it tons didn't. of different things. Yeah, you can see the Jenga pieces in the background. And, like, the bag. Yeah. And that's just kind of how we showed that we failed. <laughs> what you need, a marble, marble tracks, something to trap your monster with. We used a box. String, or chairs, string, <laughs> and a foam tube. And that's just what we use, but you can make modifications to this if you would like. And use different materials. Yeah. That totally works. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Oh, pull trap. This one is pretty simple. Like, we came up with yeah. all of these on our own after we kind of learned how to create them. Yeah. Okay, so this one is really simple and it uses a few materials. And it really only uses, like, three materials. So, what to do? You attach your pole to something that will be easy to pull from. Attach string at the bottom of your pole. Put a box at the end of the chair. Lower your monster directly under the box. Pull the string. Keep trying, make, failing, and making changes. I think this one was like a squishing trap. Right? Yeah, this one was a squishing trap. So we used like a cotton ball as the monster. Yeah. So there's they kind of represent different yeah. like monsters that you can try trapping. So the thumbnail doesn't really give you any information about the track like the other one did. But so basically, you just have a pull, and we put one on like one of our bookshelves, and then we pulled the string off the pole. It landed on the box, and the box fell on top of the cop. And we have a video for all of these different traps. Yeah, and they're all on play. our website, and you can check them out. And there's also a playlist, which is called or er, Monster Trap. Here, I actually have it right here. Yeah. So. So. Monster we have it on Paul Solar's YouTube account, and it has the little thing there because there's a bunch of them. And then we have all our traps here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Do we need this one in here? Because that one's the fail. We'll take that out later. <laughs> okay, so then what you need? A pole, a chair, a box, string, and a monster. 
So there are two more. Well, we're not five, right? No, there's a success we're not here. Five, right? the, sorry, we're just talking about something. This is a success, and that's the fail. Then we didn't add it. Oh, we didn't add the pole trap to the playlist yet. No, we did. No. Oh no, we didn't. <laughs> Shoot. Sorry, that'll be on there soon. Okay, um, so that's rapid. Evil Easel Heart Trap. So this one. This one was kind of extravagant, but the rapid fire trap was even more extravagant. This one we had to kind of make sure that it, the marble hit the easel perfectly so then it would fall and not bounce off. Alright, so I do want to read this. So this trap is pretty simple to set up, and it is a little hard okay, to execute so correctly. So as you can see by the thumbnail again, you can't really see what it is, but basically we had a pole coming up again on one of our shelves. And then we put a marble down it, and it fell down onto the easel, rolled, went down a tube, and it had to hit it. So that's why it's called the hurt trap. So this is what you need. A foam tube, an easel, a regular tube, a monster, a marble, and a step stool. And if you want to know like what type of tube you used, we just have we have it in our video. It's just like this purple Yeah, it's this purple tube. tube, and we use it for almost all of our videos. Yeah, and then what to do. First, you will have a tube that is bouncing on top of a step stool. Then you will get an easel that is pushed next to a table, or we used a cabinet. It was yeah. a fixed cabinet, so it was taller. At the end of the easel, put a foam tube so that the marble can fall in and come out and hit the marble. Or the marble, but it was actually like the monster. We used the marble yeah. as the monster. Alright, so there is one more, which is my favorite and the most extravagant. Yes. <laughs> and it is very, very loud. Yeah. So this is we the rapid fire trap. Forty marbles for this, at least, because we ha we were like collecting. I'll explain what it is because it's kind of hard to understand based on this. So as you can see here, we have it, the oh. easel again. So we had a series of foam tubes, and it went down, and it went over the easel behind some of the bookshelves, and then came down, and it had to hit the box to keep it going and going and going and going and going until it landed. And so we had to send down like. 30, if you see our video, months, some of them get, got stuck because we were oh. like trying to and push some books And back. then so Ashley kept sending them down and I told her to. And also, we had to like push the books back, make a shelf so it wouldn't just fall out, but it would go around like, it was basically like a track. Yeah, like it was a track that we made out of foam tubes. Yeah, and just like... We used a binder to like keep it from falling out. Yeah. All right. And then so that's basically what it is. So what you need: foam tubes, easel, lots of marbles. Yeah. I see how we put some that books, out there. chair, and a box. So what to do? Build your foam tube, of course. Put your box at the end and keep trying failing and making mistakes. So I'm pretty sure that's it. So mm. And we have our other sites, which you, it's just shows you our other sites that we have created. So like, you won't like that I ever made. It's about speaking French. I made this one with my friend Abby. This is the second one I ever made. It's about soccer. And this one is about thrill rides, which I actually just finished making last year. So round. then mine, this is the first website I made, and I did it with my friend Abby and Anna. And we did, it was about how intelligent dolphins are. Okay. And then the next one I did was how to speak in Spanish. And if also for all of these, you just gotta click on the image, and then you can yeah, go to our website. And then the latest website I did was about making healthy snacks, so, and I have some videos, so just click on like that how to make guacamole. Out. Yeah. All right. So I'm Madison, and I'm Ashley, and thanks for checking out monstertraps.weebly.com.